Hey friends, it's KFD, and I'm going to try something different. Normally on my Instagram, underscore KFD underscore, I always do the stories of the old school USDM hunter. Usually if I find something kind of old and interesting, I will ma make an Instagram story about it. Today we're going to try this on YouTube, and this particular old school USDM hunter find is this 1980 or 81 Series B Toyota Celica. Now this is a second gen Celica. This car is very near and dear to my heart, just the simple fact that I own a 1981. Now, these cars were virtually identical, those two model years, the only difference being the VIN number and a 20R versus a 22R. So again, without having to look at the hood, underneath the hood, I couldn't tell you. But my guessment is there's less than 100 of these cars left in Southern California, maybe closer to 50. And so I have had my hands on or know of at least 35 or 40 of them. So every now and then when I see one that I don't know of, it excites me. Now, I'm actually in Santa Ana in Orange County. And again, this car, it doesn't look like it's really owned by an enthusiast. It's just an older car that still keeps on running. It's got a few things missing. But the amazing part about this car, it's, it's rust-free. It's got dents and dings. It's actually from, still has the Toyota of Gardena dealership license plate frame. And it's uh, still on the road, which is amazing to me. So this car is actually a GT as well. reason I can tell, it has the... You can't really see if we can put it up there. It has the bigger armrest console. It's got a faux aluminum dash, and it has the passenger side mirror. And that's usually only something you would see on the GTs. Now, my car version was an ST, and, and, and my dad back in the 90s, when you could still find these things throughout the junkyard, it actually cobbled the whole, the whole assembly together from different cars to put a mirror on this thing. But other than that, I mean, this thing's relatively complete. I mean, the only rust I see, which is typical for these cars, is right here. But this is really cool to see this. Anyway, I figured you guys might appreciate that, and thanks for watching.